Okay, so here we are on lesson 2.7. And today we are going to talk about <clears throat> solving a division problem when you need to write the remainder as a fraction, interpreting our remainder. We had to interpret our remainder on our mid chapter check the last um, word problem with the candles. So here we go. It says, when you solve a division problem with the remainder, the way you interpret the remainder depends on the situation and the question. Sometimes you need to use both the quotient and the remainder. You can do that by writing the remainder as a fraction. So here's our question today. Scott and his family want to hike a trail that is 1,365 miles long. They will hike equal parts of the trail on 12 different hiking trips. How many miles will Scott's family hike on each trip? <clears throat> so the first question they ask is the blank represents the number of trips Scott and his family will take. It tells us right here then he's going to take 12 trips. And that is our divisor. The blank represents the whole number part of the number of miles Scott and his family will hike on each trip. So it breaks it down into those 12 trips, which is going to be our quotient. And the blank represents the number of miles left over. So that would be the remainder. So we need to go ahead and work this problem so we can talk about our remainder. So 12 goes into 13 one time. So I'm going to put a 1 above 13 and I'm going to subtract. And 13 minus 2 is 1. I'm going to bring down my 6. 12 will go only going to 16 one time. Oops. So I'm going to put 12 under here and again I'm going to subtract. I'm going to bring down my 5. Okay, now we have to think a little bit. How many 12s in 45? Well, 12 plus 12 is 24. And plus 12 more is 36, so we're going to go three times. And we're going to have to do a little regrouping. And 15 minus 6 is 9. So we have a remainder of 9. Now we're going to go over here and talk about this remainder. The remainder represents 9 miles, which can also be divided into 12 parts and written as a fraction. Notice they said they put the remainder over the divisor. So the remainder over the divisor to make our fraction. Says write the quotient with the remainder written as a fraction in simplest form. Okay. So let's look at that simplest form. We can uh, simplify 9 twelfths by dividing each of those by 3. And there are how many 3's in 9? And how many 3's in 12? Write the quotient with the remainder. So we're going to have 113 miles each time and 113 and 3 fourths miles on each trip. So that is how you do it. The remainder over the divisor. Okay. Here is another way on page 88. Another way. Use only the quotient. So this time we're only going to have to use the quotient. We could take a mile and divide it up into parts. We can't always divide something up into parts. And so this time it says we're only going to use the quotient. The segments of the Appalachian Trail that runs through Pennsylvania is 232 miles long. Scott and his family want to hike nine miles each day on the trail. How many days will they hike exactly nine miles? So how many days will they hike exactly nine miles? 
Now we might come out with a remainder, but we're only going to use that quotient to find out how many times they will do that. So 9 goes into 2. Nope. 9 goes into 23. Well, 9 plus 9 is 18. 3 times 9 is 27. 27 is too big, so we're going to stick with 18. And we're going to have to do a little regrouping here. 13 minus 8 is 5. Bring down your 2 because 5 could not be divided easily among, evenly among 9 groups. And then we're going to multiply our multiples of 9, which is what well, is close to uh, 52. Well, I know that that is 45, and that is 9 multiplied by 5. Again, we're going to have to do a little regrouping. 12 minus 5 is 7. 4 minus 4 is nothing. So we have a remainder of 7. Divide to find the quotient and the remainder. Since the remainder shows that there are not enough miles left for another 9-mile day, it is not used in our answer. 7 is less than 9, so it's not going to be a 9-mile hike on that last day. It's only going to be 7. So we're only going to use this part. There will be exactly 25 days that they hike 9 miles, and then they'll have to hike 7 miles on another day. Okay, this is on that same page 88 in the blue box, Other Ways. And we did our math on our last one, and we got 25 remainder 7. Now, sometimes we have to add 1 to our quotient. What is the total number of days that Scott will need to hike 232 miles, which is what we divided earlier, right? And we got 25 remainder 7. So we know it's going to take 25 days, but then we're going to have that 7 miles left over. So what are we going to have to do? Think in your mind. What are we going to have to do? We're going to have to add one more day to his hike so he gets the whole trail. So Scott will need to, need to 26 days to hike the 232 miles. It will take him... 25 days at 9 miles a day, then he'll have 7 miles left over, and so he will have to hike that on the next day. Use the remainder as the answer. This is again still in that box. This is B. Use the remainder as an answer. If Scott hikes 9 miles each day, except that last day, how many miles will he hike on the last day? And this is where we will use our remainder. Remember, we had 25 days at 9 miles a day, and he had 7 days left, or 7 miles left. So Scott will hike 7 miles on the last day. Okay, so this is the unlock your, the problem. The try this at the bottom of the page. On page 88, a sporting goods store is going to ship 1,252 sleeping bags. Each shipping carton can hold eight sleeping bags. How many shipping cartons are needed to ship all the sleeping bags? So let's do our math and see if we have a remainder. Well, eight went into 12 once and we had four left over, so they brought down their five. 8 goes into 45 five times, so that's 40, and we have 5 left over, so they brought down there 2, and 8 goes into 52 six times, which is 48, and if I do a little regrouping, I'll see that I have a remainder of 4. Now the question is, how many shipping carts will it take to ship that 1,252 sleeping bags? <clears throat> We know that we're going to have, that our quotient is 156. So we're going to have 156 boxes that are each filled with eight sleeping bags. What are we going to do with that four left over? Are we going to leave them behind and not send them 1,252 sleeping bags? Or are we going to pack those in another box that just won't be full? and send them. 
Yes, we are, because they ordered that many, we need to ship them that many. Since there are four sleeping bags left over, you will need 157 cartons so that you can ship all the sleeping bags. Okay, we're on the Sharon Show on page 89, and this is number one. Erica and Bradley want to hike the Big Cypress Trail. They will hike a total of 75 miles. If Erica and Bradley plan to hike for 12 days, how many miles will they hike each day? Divide to find the quotient and the remainder. So we have to say how many 12s are in 75? In this case, there are six. And six times two is 12. I'd have to regroup a one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. So then I would have a remainder of three, okay? So we divided to find our quotient, which is six, and our remainder, which is three. Decide how to use the quotient and remainder to answer the question. If Erica and Bradley plan to hike 12 days, how many miles will they hike each day? Well, can we use just the quotient? If we use just the quotient, they'll have those three miles that they didn't hike. So we can't do that. It's not a question that asks how many miles will they have left over at 12 miles or at, after 12 days. So we must need to write this one as a fraction. And don't forget, when we write it as a fraction, we use our quotient. Then we put our remainder over our divisor. Now this can be simplified. We can divide 3 and 12 by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 12 is, or 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now it says, what if Erica and Bradley want to hike 14 miles each day? This is hot problem number 2. <clears throat> How many days will they hike exactly? 14 miles. So go ahead and stop your recording and do this division and then we'll come back and talk about our answer. So we're going to do 75 divided by 14. Well, 14, let's see, it's not going to go 6, so let's try 5. 5 times 4 is 20. We're going to regroup a little 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 70. And if we subtract, we have a remainder of 5. What if Eric and Bradley want to hike 14 miles each day? How many days will they hike exactly 14 miles? In this one, we're just going to use our quotient. So they're going to hike exactly 14 miles on 5 days. Then they'll have to hike another day to get those three miles. Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at the hot problem number three on page 89. It says, Dylan's Hiking Club is planning to stay overnight at a camping lodge. Each large room can hold 15 hikers. There are 154 hikers. How many rooms will they need? So 154 Divided by 15. Go ahead and pause and do your... Okay, hopefully you have an answer. 15 goes into 15 one time. And that leaves us with zero. We have to bring down that four. Can four be divided equally into 15 groups? No, it cannot. So we have to put a zero up there, and then we have a remainder of four. And the question is, how many rooms will they need? They will need 10 rooms with 15 people. Are they going to make those other four people sleep out in the cold? Or are they going to get an extra room to accommodate those people? They certainly are. So the answer to that is 11 rooms. 